This video tutorial is being brought to you by LearningComputer.com. Today we are going to do an Excel 2013 tutorial. Uh, our topic is going to be freezing panes, so let's jump right, right into it. Uh, well, why freeze panes or what does it even mean? Well, freezing or locking panes is quite useful when working with large set of data in Excel 2013. Uh, without this functionality of freezing panes, you will be unable to see the headings in the top row or the first column. So imagine, uh, you know, a lot of data. We are going to show you a demo in a second, in a few seconds here. But uh, if you have a lot of data and as you're trying to scroll to the right or the bottom, if you don't have the headings, uh, you will not be able to, you know, see what exact, um, you know, object or person or, you know, thing that you are looking for. Now, after you freeze panes, uh, like I mentioned, as you scroll to the right or the, or the bottom, Excel 2013 will essentially lock that specific area in the spreadsheet. So uh, the best way to do this is to really uh, look, look at a demo. And today we are going to be looking at two of them. Uh, the first one we will start with is a grade book example. And uh, specifically, as far as the different options of freezing panes, you can uh, e you know do either of these. You can e uh, freeze the top row. You can also freeze uh, first column, which is going to be the column A. And you can freeze any column or row, really. So you can do a combination. And uh, shall we look at this in action? Well, sure we can. So I'm going to switch over to Excel 2013. Uh, I have I have two spreadsheets, so let me take a look at this one. Let's kind of go over this. Uh, this is a, a grading application for a database class that I taught uh, some time ago. Um, we have the students in the top two rows. So, you know, you have uh, the last name, first name, and uh, they pretty much... Uh, you know, are listed uh, uh, in, in a horizontal manner. Now on the vertical axis, we have the actual project and the midterm information. So you can see this is project one and you can see that Mike scored 45 points, uh, Craig scored 40 and so on and so forth. Uh, we keep going and then uh, you, you know, you have the midterm number one and people did okay, uh, justice needs a little help here. Um, but essentially, you get the idea. We have a combination of projects. Uh, we have some midterms. Um, you know, we keep going. Uh, and then finally, we have uh, <clears throat> the final exam and uh, participation for points. Now, notice, though, now I'm unable to really see, you know, if I'm over here and I want to know who scored, uh, you know, these points, how do I know that, okay? You know, I can't tell what uh, student I'm talking about, okay? So this is where the freezing panes comes into hand, uh, comes in handy. Uh, let me go back to the top of that, uh, you know, section. So let me just scroll back up. Another thing I want to show you is if I if I start going to the right, let's say, let's say I'm interested in uh, midterm one and see, you know, what did what did people score as far as, uh, you know, what or what I guess what is the average? You know, you'll notice that I have a column on averages. So, you know, what did people score on the midterm? Well, looks like it was 112. And, uh, you know, so this way I can see, uh, you know, where where are these students um, placing, okay? So, uh, as you can see, we, we are unable to freeze, you know, look at the data. And by the way, on the bottom, uh, here is what the people scored. Here are the total number of points, and the last uh, item here is the the percent. So this is really you know uh, this uh, 1528 divided by 1780 will give us 85%. Uh, okay, so uh, so that's our data. How do we really do this? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is going to freeze the first uh, column, which I like I mentioned is this column, and the idea is going to be that as as we scroll to the right, it should uh, you know it should. Uh, you, Get locked, okay. So really, what you do is, um, you, you, doesn't matter. You could have a cursor any point for this one. You are going to go to uh, basically, you know, this is not in in the home tab. You're going to want to go to the view tab, okay. And then uh, you will see the window group, and within the window group, you will see this option that says freeze panes okay i'm going to click on the drop down and this time we have three options but i'm really interested in the top row and you can see that they highlight uh you know 
what section uh, we're talking about. In fact, uh, let me take that back. I'm going to actually freeze the first column. Okay, I would like to know, um, you know, what uh, what item we're working on, if it's a project, midterm, and whatnot. So simply select that. Okay, now uh, let's let's come back to our midterm. Okay, I would like to know, uh, you know, what are my averages for my different. Uh, different assignments that I'm giving and I'm actually going to scroll all the way to the right okay so now look at this okay I can easily see uh, that in project one my average was 40.18 okay these are the total number of points and uh, you know we can kind of keep going down you can kind of see some trends right away you can see that uh, project five seemed to be a little bit harder than the rest okay uh, you know the midterm Again, uh, 112 out of 200, so that's the average. That looks like a pretty tough midterm, and so on and so forth. And we can keep going, and you can see on the bottom, we have the mid, uh, the final, which is 181 uh, out of 300 points. Okay, so that's, that's how you uh, freeze the first column, okay? Now, if you wanted to change that, uh, in other words, take it out. You just go back to freeze panes and select unfreeze panes. What this is going to do is now it's just like your regular Excel sheet. If you scroll back and forth, not a, nothing is locked. Okay, so 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 far so good. Um, basically, what we have done is we just uh, we just did this first option. Okay. Now, how do we? That's good. How do we do? You know, the top row. Okay. Um, so now we are going to again switch back to this so uh, in other words what we're trying to do is if I scroll down I would like to know for example uh, let's say rich white okay what did they um, I guess what are you know what are their total points or what kind of percent are we talking about here obviously I can you know scroll down and find out